uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans of these earthlings, if you are, where if you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to the channel on Bushgrin. Today, I want to really break down the new Miramar meta, and there is a new meta. The variations, how you can take advantage of it, the things you've got to do to be successful here, and uh, why you really need to pay attention to this is because if you don't, you're going to get farmed up pretty hard. I'm going to break this down now, talk about the positives and some of the th things in the event, the Sandstorm event that's going on as well. Let's just kick this off. The big change, obviously, is there's just more stuff. There's more compounds, and those compounds are littered right across the Miramar map. And what's this... The this has created far fewer safe avenues for people rotating into the late circles. It's also created a much more Erangel-like meta where double AR is... The, the M416 is becoming even stronger. And I'm so tempted right now to do a video on that gun. It's getting nerfed in PUBG, Mo, in PUBG PC and the barrel is getting buffed. And I really hope that happens in PUBG Mobile because I'm sick to death of this meta. This is the full spray meta that the M416 brings to the table. And you get people who sit in these compounds like game. This compound on my right was never there, right? you would be able to safely rotate in through the top here and you would be using a lot more bolt action rifle work. Well, now there's just people everywhere and they are farming up people in vehicles as they rotate in late or people on the old foot falcon as they rotate in late. And it's made it a lot tougher. You've got to make your rotations a lot earlier and you've got to be strong with them. Something else I've found is I'm carrying a just an absolute buttocks load more meds. There's two reasons for this. One is you are going to quite often get smashed in your vehicle and have to leave your vehicle alone uh, because I've never had so many car kills in all my time playing the game in Miramar. And the other thing is you're going to have just heaps of heel fights. People that will be in an urban area and they will refuse to come out and they will make you heal through the pain to get the win. I mean, this is just from playing yesterday. Like, I... Just car bomb after car bomb after car bomb as people try and rotate in on these late circles. And it's just crazy how many times they just get poleaxed by an M416 on full auto. Like, it's it's such an effective weapon for this. And I'm running car 98 k but it also seems to have less scopes available on Miramar. Like, there are just literally fewer scopes and it's really, really hard to find 6Xs and 8Xs. That may be, in fact, related to the fact they've bought the Winchester 94 in and they want to make that a more valuable gun. So by the scarcity of scopes, they're making the automatic scope you get on the Winnie a bigger deal. But this is just anecdotal from me. Let me know in the comments if you're finding that as well. The other thing that more compounds means more loot, but I don't think they've added more loot to the loot table. I think they've just spread that loot out absolutely everywhere so that you now have far less chance of finding a 6 and an 8x. Um, I mean, as I was saying, just so many vehicle kills. It's absolutely crackers. Uh, and this is on a map where you have fewer and fewer open avenues. Like, you're always going past compounds. You're always going past areas. And even in some of the old compounds, they've added in new vehicle, new uh, new buildings. Like, it's, it's a lot more urbanized. And that makes for a fun late game, to be honest. Um, and a lot easier for people who aren't great with the sniping. But it does make it difficult uh, to negotiate and move in. It's just freaking cars running everywhere i've never had so many people in vehicles running into me like it, it's just i don't understand it the other thing it means is that you've got to get good at your movement and outthinking the opponent because you can't just rely on a late game circle rotation dragging them into an open field um you're going to find a lot of these uh people who are sweating up hard in tpp and third party peaking and you've got to try and take advantage of that um, know your way around the buildings know your way around the areas now you might see where i am right now this is Trumacera and the reason I'm here is because there is a sandstorm here. And in the sandstorm, you can get flare guns and all that. And this has been really positive. As a as a way of getting hot drops and having fun on Miramar, you don't have to just go to Hacienda del Patron or Picardo. Now, you can actually find a, a lot of hot drop work uh, wherever the sandstorm is. And to me, that's fun. Like, I'm, I'm not really grinding raiding like I, I did last season for a bit. I This is 
like I've been playing since season one. I don't have a season two ace title because they didn't give titles out for season two ace, but I got it, and I, I just I'm, I just couldn't be asked. I'm just going to play for fun and see how it goes, and that that's good because you drop the sandstorm on Miramar. You're going to get people chunking down on top of you and you're going to get a lot of high kill uh, hot drops or you're just going to die early. Who knows? Whatever. But you're going to have a lot of fun. So this this is this is now trending towards a lot more of my gameplay being with the... Oh, there's that jam scope glitch. Like, it's killing me. The jam scope on... PUBG Mobile at the moment for me is absolutely killing me. I did a huge Twitter post on this. If you haven't checked it out, it's at Bushka on Blitz on Twitter or, or on Instagram. I did it also at the Bushka. I mean, go and check that out. I drop stuff there all the time. And I'm just so excited to get an 8x scope off someone. I'm like, happy days. I uh, got an 8x scope. What I'm finding is when I look at the details at the end of the game, I'm just getting a lot more kills with ARs, with guns like the Beryl, and running Beryl and M416 and just letting the M416 handle the late game uh, spraying is working out a treat. I mean, it's a legitimately good combo, and I I think that's what PUBG Mobile's after. They're after a, a combo that more people want to play, and that's going to make more people come and play Miramar. So I'll have to adjust and change. I mean, we all whinge and bitch and moan. Like, change is just what it is. You got you either roll with the punches or you get left behind. And for me, it just means there's going to be less of the long-range snipe-offs at the end of the game and more of the urban bashing and buffing. Yeah, whatever, man. That's cool. Um, it's the same for everyone else. Why not be the same for me? Love that candid sight with a red dot, Bushka. That's really useful. <laughs> Just, just for the look of the thing. I mean, if we have a look, um, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Yeah, bum, ba, ba, dum, ba, dum. here we go. You can see, like, 500 damage with the barrel, and then I've got, you know, the AWM 163, the K98 172, 167 with the M16, and I did, you know, another 178 with the AKM. In the old days. I would have had so much more damage with my bolt actions on that. But whatever, that's it is what it is. This is this is the new Miramar meta. It's certainly it's certainly been enjoyable. Uh, it's been far more about like close combat than any season I I can remember. And this is my favorite map. Miramar is by far my favorite map. It's my favorite map because it's very hard for people to snake on it and God knows I'd rather play FPP, but there's just a massive queue issue with FPP, so I can play TPP and get places where people snaking actually get punished. Uh, you want to snake in the desert, go for it. Like, I'm happy to have you snake in the desert. Uh, that suits me, as we all know. Uh, and, you know, you, you get to work your close quarters combat magic. Whatever. The... The overall patch has been excellent. There is definitely better graphics. The The detail on the Miramar map itself is better. And I just need to adjust my gameplay to the new meta. So carry more meds. Make your rotations early. Try and find safe pathways between the compounds. That'll certainly help you. Um, that's me. Yes, I did call down a, uh, a BRDM by accident. Yeah. <laughs> didn't work out real oh you absolute idiot you're a massive potato i hope you guys are enjoying the content uh there's a lot more coming so don't go anywhere there's there's heaps of content i hope you enjoyed the sensitivity settings video i dropped yesterday um it's certainly been a great patch i think change is good and change is fun and if there's more people playing miramar for me to play with now and i don't have to wait for a long time in the queue i'm i'm jiggy with it Thanks, thanks, Dad Joke. Okay, Boomer. I got called a Boomer by my child yesterday. I tried to explain to him that that's the wrong era. I, I wasn't born. Yeah, he's just like, you're a Boomer, Dad. Love your work, boys and girls. Look after yourselves. And as always, uh, oh, hang on. What are we, I don't know what these clips are for. What clips? I don't know. These are grenade clips. Watch this grenade. This is an awesome grenade. I should do a video on this because this is, you drop the grenade right on top. Bonus tip time. You don't try and throw it over the wall. You drop it right on the top of the wall and it takes one bounce and explodes in the air on top of them. <sighs> Boom. Look after yourself, boys and girls. As always, stay safe in the battlefield. Bye for now and see you around here next time.